Hi guys, welcome again to Charge Cars or Charge Bikes, as today's topic is a bike. Today we'll be installing on this CB1000R a belly pan from Power Bronze. All right, so this is a kit I ordered from the powerbronze.co.uk website. Awesome products. Um, and today is a kit, a guide how to install this kit. Now, before we continue, uh, as everyone does not have a garage, I highly recommend, by the way, those kind of bike stands that for the one swing arm. They're a bit pricey, 70 euros for this bike, but it's well worth the investment. And if you're like me, working on this gravel or sand yard, you might want to use the package that you got from the kit. Open it up and use it as a uh, kind of protection. So if you lose bolts or nuts, you don't have to spend half an hour looking for them because you don't uh, differentiate them from the ground. So it'll be sorry. It's a bit hard to do the camera stuff at the same time. Yeah. All right, so like this, open it up, slide it down. And now you have a nice protection. So if you lose any nuts and bolts or you drop a tool, you will see it right away. There's some of the stuff I used to bleed the brakes earlier. I know it's a bit late for the season, but I had to adjust the brake lines, so... All right, so the kit comes very neatly packaged. This is the bottom plate, two side pieces and instructions. So, and tools in the same kit. So this is really cool. All right, so we'll separate the tools and the instructions from the bottom piece, like that. Now there's another plastic bag. Two power brown stickers that we'll be placing because they make really cool products so i want to show that i got that piece on my bike so for the instructions here's the details of what you're supposed to get so you'll need to remove the oe if you have a oe tailpipe you'll need to remove the protection plate I'll have it there in the storage, but let's see what it's... Uh, can we do it without it? So... Mm, all right, so... Uh, 11, 12 and 13, shown here, go here. So we'll, meet, we'll do that right away. And it's it's re really cool finish, matte, seems really high quality, no dings or imperfections anywhere. It's a really cool piece. Oh, that's cool. I mean, more manufacturers should be doing this. Uh, this has a protective film, like you can see here. So when installing, you don't need to worry about the scratching the surface as much. That's really 
really cool place from where to order stuff. And they have a huge variety of pieces for different bikes and you can choose even if you want the silver mesh or a gold or bronze. I don't remember the option but there's a, at, least, at least three options I think for the color of the mesh and then the piece itself too there's matte black matte black so all right 13 14 we'll drop these pieces here already almost lost one piece so so we'll be putting the pieces together first so we'll need to take the protective film away from this part so that you can access the two holes or like this then slip this through and by the way these are plastic uh, bolts and nuts so be careful not to break them and put this in place We'll put it by finger in the beginning, so we can fit them all in place, like that. We'll tighten them by the end, and then first Okay, so this shows you where everything needs to go. So this piece right here, this is the number six piece. Let's put it here so it's just so windy. So number six piece, front right. Picture shows it's this cover, that screw and we'll need We'll need to do, place it behind that, so it's an 8mm, so this cover here, or this bolt of the cover here. Place it here, and put it back. Like so. So, and then we'll need to put piece number seven, so it's this right here, and this, the middle bolt here. Now put it this way, so that the bolt will, or the bracket will, be long enough to fit the belly pan. The other side, but then, yeah. so all right now, these rubber grommets, you can slide them into the into their places, right here, like that. These are the, this is the way that they'll fit in this belly pan. Right now, so the rubber's in place and now is the time to tighten these because this is goes to the front of the bike so we'll be tightening that up and then and we'll be placing this in the pre preliminary place so this actually tightens pretty well with just the flat head don't over tighten it 
so you don't need to actually have a socket wrench or or an allen key i mean whatever this is called to tighten the nut on the other side and then slide it here i'll play i'll show how to place the other side but now i'll put these in the preliminary preliminary place so slide this uh, sleeve over it and the bolt through and in the other side of this you place the nuts that came with the kit so already dropped a nut I don't want to tighten this too much because this is only just to see where the brackets need to be in the final place. Like that. Like that. All right. Now let's move to the other side. Two brackets, two bolts and nuts and sleeves. And let's take the instruction with us. So all right. Now we're on this side. So we'll need to, we'll need to remove this one just under the water hole put the bracket number four so this z piece like that so the smaller side otherwise it won't fit in the place of the bolt the instructions show this needs to be almost like that, almost like upright, not quite, but almost. So don't over tighten them, these they are small bolts, they will break if you over tighten them. Where did the nut go? I have no idea. Uh. Damn it again. All right, so and then this should be almost vertical the positioning here. So we'll tighten that right there. Mm -hmm. Then we'll put the other sleeve in place. And then we'll just Bolt this up. Yeah, that's the way easier. Keep the nut in place and tighten it with your finger. And then this should go. Like so, but I think the other side is wonky, so we'll fix that first. And all right, so we'll fix this side first. Loosen this up. Mm 
Maybe we'll try positioning them better this time. So, picture shows we need to put this almost like that. The upright like that. And this needs to be directly facing outwards. Right, then we'll put these on. Then we'll see if we can tighten then this side without a key on the other side. Yeah, it works pretty good, actually. Tight too. And then the last nut and bolt we'll need to tighten is this lower. I'll tighten this just a bit. There it went, and then just the opposite knot. <laughs> I recommend doing this with a bike hold because with my hand here I'd definitely burn it if the exhaust was hot. And then lastly, this one. Now, it looks so cool, man. Way better. This is what the bike needed. Looks a kind of a bit more aggressive now. That's cool. Right. Tools will need four mil ratchet, eight mil, and a flathead. Nothing more, nothing less. That's all you need for this install. Super easy, and the finish is super cool. Thank you guys, like and subscribe for more content like this.